Yay! The seasonal hero analysis. Here I come. <laughs> okay, there are two dudes. Oh, whatever. Two new heroes that have popped up in the seasonal lunar summon. Which has a few twists. So let's clarify that first. So these are the appearance rates. And epic hero tokens can be used over here. So go for them. There is the perfect 10 bonus also available. But before that, legendary seasonal hero non-featured is 0.5. And the featured ones are 0.8. So 1.3 is the chance of getting that. <clears throat> this option is there, but only available to people who spend gems, not the epic hero tokens, to pull a perfect 10 bonus. Perfect 10 bonus includes a random legendary seasonal hero and the following bonus items, which is Tome of Ascension, Legendary Tome of Experience, one epic Tome of Golden Emblems, which should have three of them, and 10 giant food bundles. That's the 500k each bundle. This can happen. The 10 bonus can only occur once every 24 hours. So that's that. I didn't need to go out because both are featured. So let's go with the right side. Gong new. Go new. Gong new. Gong new. Or somebody will pronounce it properly. Doesn't matter. So this is a holy legendary cleric class. Part of the lunar year family. What do the Lunar Year guys do? Lunar Year family features different Lunar Year animal heroes. Each Lunar Year animal grants a different bonus to the members of the Lunar Year family when paired with at least one other Lunar Year hero. This hero gives the following Lunar Year OX bonus to the members. It's 10% defense. So after massive amount of write up to 10%. Just write the damn thing up there, no? Dude. There's another Lunar Year dude there. You get your 10% defense. That's it. Move on. Two passives. Character recovers 10% health when they receive a status ailment or a negative stack. And the mean one which everybody's been cribbing about. All those great minion fellows became useless overnight. Attacks and abilities of all minions owned by enemies are disabled <laughs> it's all your sorrow and uh, what is that lady on the lake and the other water pipe <laughs> became absolutely useless so i wanted to get water pipe and after this don't give a fuck okay <laughs> let's move forward yeah it looks tanky 875, 1042, and 1864. Those are the stats. Very clearly tanky stats with low attack and very high defense. At base level, rejuvenating elixir at slow speed is the special. All allies get plus 54% defense and a further 5% increase every time they are hit during three turns. Okay. All allies recover 1000 health after three turns. If the effect is removed, or replaced before the duration ends, they recover 1400 health instead. Okay. So technically you get 1000 or more, no matter what. And since they have sorted the word out, removed or replaced, which means steel is included in that, as we saw in the Alba hero test video that I shared a few days back. All allies gain 25% mana after three turns. If the effect is removed before the duration ends, gains 35% mana instead. Okay, there's a question mark. Let's read that. This effect cannot be replaced with itself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if fires, so it doesn't get replaced. In the sense, you fire Gong Nyu uh, again, so that is not replacement. You basically are refreshing it rather. So, wow, this is a damn good hero, I would say. Really good hero. Slow speed, fine. You find a way to fire this guy once and then 
all mayhem breaks loose. Well, checks and balances have been built in so that 25% mana doesn't add up immediately. It's after three turns. So you have to survive your ass for three turns. And uh, three turns is too long. Too long in today's gameplay. Survive for one turn <clears throat> is an achievement. So yeah. Um, interesting hero. Very good support hero. Today is a day of massively good support heroes. Like Nautica is an insane support hero. As I spoke about him in his hero analysis. Similarly, Gongnyo is a very good support hero. Would become insane if the speed was average. Because the benefit of an average speed hero is can be functionally made fast. So can be charged faster. And then the fellow starts rolling. But at slow speed also. The role that he plays, that defense is very high. Very easily will climb up in its 70s or even closing on to 80. And uh, that health recovery of 1000 is really high after 3. And uh, 1400 is almost full health. So you basically stay full health and that mana really helps. Wow. And we have to remember this also. Okay, but this applies to the self. And cleric class, which is going to clash with this a little bit. But the important factor is, and there's defense already built in. So good hero. Let's move to the next one. <clears throat> Kinlong. King <laughs> Long, Key Long, Key Long is what I would like to pronounce him as wise old man, nature legendary, wizard class. This fellow is wizard class, right? No, cleric. Just forgot. Yeah, the other fellow was the blue guy. This is the same, but. The benefit changes, so 15% critical chance. So if there are two fellows, one will give defense and one will give critical chance. Seriously. Um, wow. So this guy has two passives. And this guy has one passive, which is this. Attacks and dis abilities of all minions owned by the enemies are disabled. Is it an error or is it as per design? Well, <clears throat> going into the stats, 1001, 953, 17, 26, all three very good comparatively as a package. Confident strategy. Well, his pose is confident. Crazy guy. Dragon. White dragon means wise dragon and has that wizardy beard and is smoking a pipe. So confidence strategy at very fast speed deals 160% damage to all enemies. So it's a straight whack to all. Steals the latest dispellable buff from all enemies and randomly distributes them on allies. So doesn't steal all buffs. Steals the latest dispellable buff from all enemies and randomly distributes. So if there is a taunt going on, obviously only a taunt will be stolen. If there are multiple buffs, but only the latest ones will be taken and the rest will be left behind. So at very fast speed, that's the check and balance that has been built. Doesn't take away all the buffs. Only picks up the latest dispellable buffs. All allies get plus 8% attack per transferred status effect buff for two turns. Okay, two turns is less, but then this fellow is very fast speed. And plus, say, maximum five fellows, five buffs. It's 8 into 5, 40% attack buff for two turns is good enough at very fast speed. 
because he'll charge it faster. So I had tested him and really liked him in beta. Survival because of that massive stats. Look at this. That is good. Those are good stats. And what does this do? Plus 30% additional special skill damage for six turns. Well, so good hero. Both are damn good heroes. One of them has got an additional health gaining uh, passive. This one doesn't have. So good luck for getting uh, these heroes. And obviously, of course, the older ones too. If I skip this, I would really want to get Lahu. I don't have him. Fantastic hero. And this one I already have and use him. Very, very good sniper. And uh, the ailment that he gives comes in brilliantly handy. This guy self heals and keeps killing. So there are two holies now in the lunar family and one green. So, yeah. Good luck for getting these zeros and congratulations in case you've already landed them. See you in the next video. Cheers.